How's it going everybody? You got Bison here back with another FIFA 14 player review. This time it is of Inform Memphis Depay. One of my favorite players in real life. This guy got a team of the season as a silver, an international man of the match, and now this golden inform. I've wanted to review him for a while. Look at the stats on this card. 99 shot power, 95 acceleration. His base stats look very, very good. But I'm going to talk about in-game if he lives up to those in-game stats that look very, very incredible. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And here we go. This review is underway. So in for Memphis to pay has the combination that you want that has been present with most versions of this card. Incredibly pacey along the wing, a good skeller, and good dribbling. The main difference I felt with this card was for one, his finishing, two, his strength, and three, his ball control. I'll start off with his shot. He has 99 shot power, which at times can be a bit hard to control. However, he has great long shots. He can rocket it off of his foot. He had good shot power and long shots on his last card, but the main difference with his shot from previous versions is that he is better finishing, he is more accurate with his shot. It's not just insanely powerful and sometimes hard to control, it's more accurate. And that's what I found to be very good. He was a reliable shooter, not one of the best finishers I have used, not as good as a, say, Marco Royce type of player, but still a pretty good shot, especially more upgraded. Once Memphis Depay reaches his full quickness and his full sprint speed, he is insanely fast. He is very, very pacey along the wing. His first step quickness off the ball is pretty good. He's not really quick coming straight off of it, but once he gets into his dribble and his full sprint speed, he is very hard to stop. Not only is he very pacey along the wing, he has good strength. 85 strength is very, very rare for a player this fast. Usually when you have a very pacey winger like this card, you have a very, very weak card. Think guys like Marco Royce, Theo Walcott, Neymar, Messi, they're very, very weak, but this card, he wasn't that aggressive. However, he could hold off people very, very easily. You will see later in this video how Thiago Silva tries to push him off the ball. He doesn't have any of it. It was so nice to have a combination of pace and strength along the wing. Another upgraded part of this card that I found very useful is his crossing. He delivered very, very good crosses into the box when I play with him. And you can see towards the beginning of this video how he had to reach for a cross and somehow made it and delivered a very, very good cross. You see the good finishing on that shot that I was talking about. It's not that great, it's an 80, but it's much better than the other versions of his card. And also, he has a 97 curve on his shot. He has phenomenal free kicks, I almost made one with him. So he does have a good finesse shot, but his finishing is in top class, but he does have a good finesse shot with 97 curve. The big weakness I felt with this card was his positioning. He had 64 positioning. A lot of times, he would I wouldn't send him on runs and he would be back playing defense. He does have high attacking work rates and medium defensive work rates, which are good for a left wing. However, if you want to use this guy at his best, I highly suggest that you use him at left forward. You will get the most out of all the insane parts I talked about in this card. If you put him at left wing, he won't be bad. However, I found him to be out of position at times, and left mid would be even worse because you won't get the attacking part of this card as much, and he's not much of a defender at all. For the final rating, I'm going to give Inform Memphis to pay a 9.0 out of 10. I definitely think he is worth the money because he can be a difference maker on the pitch. Yes, he does have some flaws, but I believe if you put him in at left forward, he will have great success for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. Follow me on Twitter at BisonYT for more updates. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.